Hey everybody, happy Saturday. The uh, house is a complete disaster, so I'm going to start there. I'm going to start in the kitchen and then um, clean the living room, dining room, bedrooms, whatever. It's just, it's everywhere is a mess. My hope very soon is to get the office cleaned up because I have to start doing schoolwork in there. Um, I don't know how much we're going to have time for, but... Paul's off all next week, yeah, and we're going to Cleveland just two of those days, so that should leave some time without the kids for us to really get some stuff done. What? Tell them toys find in the Tell them what? Show them my toys. Okay, go. Nate! I have toys. I'll do it at a different angle. Jeez. Okay, okay. No. No more throwing. No more. No more. No more. No more throwing. So that's how our Saturday is going to go. Paul's at work. He'll be home in, I don't know, four hours or so. So, <coughs> um, I'm just going to get started. Hey everybody, um, it is Sunday. I am off to Aldi's um, to get us some groceries and get some stuff for the trip uh, that we're going on Wednesday to Cleveland. Um, I did make a little bit of progress yesterday. I at least got my desk somewhat cleaned up so I could do some homework. Um, I threw some stuff out. I still have a pile of stuff right there I have to go through. But at least I could get my homework done, which was mega, mega important. Um, living room, I got picked up quite a bit. Paul's going to clear off the table. And he's going to get out my Valentine's decorations while I go grocery shopping. Right, Daddy? I don't know about that. And little Kiggies is going to sit there and look adorables. That's adorables. That's adorables. What's Nate gonna do while I'm gone? He's always bad at the camera today. Yeah. Gonna play with a lock. Okay, you do that. One. Two, bye bye. Three, four. Don't show the camera how to undo my lock. Now I've gotta change it. One, two, three. Because people will sneak in today's work and unlock his toolbox. Hello. One, two, Okay, so I just got home from Aldi's. I spent $139, and I got a ton of stuff. So, uh, first off, they had laundry baskets for $5.99 for the big ones, which I thought was an excellent deal. I got two of those because our big ones are broken. I got fruit snacks for Nate. I got these for Keegan. Instead of getting baby food, I figured we would do these. Um, they're cheaper. They're $1.49 for six of them. I got them in strawberry banana, apple cinnamon, uh, original, and strawberry applesauce. So that'll be a way for his fruit intake. I got two packages of these um, peanut butter crackers. A lot of stuff, a lot of the snacky stuff I got for our trip. I got some peanut butter. Um, it's actually cheaper to buy it this way. I don't know if it always has been, but I paid attention today. So I got us two packs of toothbrushes. We were in desperate need of new toothbrushes. They had these two as a special. If I would have had a little bit more cash this week, I would have gotten more of them because this is the first time I've ever seen them there. Um, they're the little juice boxes. Um, Nate doesn't take, he usually takes water, but um, to switch it up, I figured that would be a good uh, treat for him. Got some pepperoni. This is new to the Aldi's line. I got baby food. I got a bunch of it. I got apple, blueberry, banana, um, apple, broccoli, pear. Apple sweet potato, apple sweet potato, apple sweet potato, prune apple butternut squash with quinona, quinone I guess it is, same thing, apple blueberry banana, the only thing I, and I have to look to make sure, but some of them were made with yogurt, and I have to make sure I didn't get any of those for cakes, not yet anyway, apple carrot, um, just because he had that reaction to the milk formula, um, yeah the see, he can't have this. Not with yogurt, but Nate would probably eat that. So, apple mango, yeah. apple mango, yeah. banana, apple, apricot with rice, apple mango. Yeah, that one too. Nate'll have to eat, or one of us will have to eat it. Um, apple, pear, spinach. So that'll set him for at least a couple days. He's eating like crazy, which we're really trying to push because we took him to the doctor's. And he is on the curve, but he's still like in 2%, 2 percentile. Um, he's spinning up a lot less though, just as a side note, so I really think his weight will start to pack on. I got this for today. Um, I got salsa as well to make for like a little party dip as we watch the Super Bowl. I got these snacks for Nate. 
I got those for Super Bowl and to take with us. These to take with us. Um, I got some, the big dippers. I got two bags of those. I got some salad dressing. We are out of like dipping kind of salad dressing. Um, so I got ranch and blue cheese. Ice cream sandwiches, Neapolitan. I got um, Pop Tarts. Uh, the roasted vegetable round crackers. If you guys have not had those, they are so delicious. Yum, yum, yum. I got pita bread for sandwiches, probably for our trip. Bananas. Um, grapes. Um, Hallows. Orange juice. Because um, Keegan's sick. I really don't want to catch it right before we have to drive to Cleveland. Um, oregano. Or I mean, geez, oregano. Pasta sauce for pasta this week. I have pasta in the cupboard there. Um, there's the salsa. I don't know if I've seen these before, but I got some. They're sweet and sour dipping sauce, but I'm going to use it to make sweet and sour chicken. Um, vanilla caramel stuff for Paul's coffee. We're all out of this sliced stick dill pickles. Milk. The ham was an excellent deal. It was $3 off the... Uh, Smoked ham and six dollars off the or five dollars off the spiral. So this ended up being six fifty eight, which I thought was a good deal. It's a decent size ham. I think I'll probably do that in the pot tomorrow. Carrots just to take on our trip. Celery to take on our chip trip. I think that's it. I spent one hundred thirty nine dollars. So Kings excited. Right, Kings are excited. Did I get lots of stuff for you? Did I get lots of stuff for you? Are you excited to have new to flavors? He hasn't had any blueberry or strawberry or mango, anything like that, so it'll be new to him. Hi! Say hi! Say hi, my boy! Oh, and one last thing. I got this for Keegan. Coconut oil. Come on, focus. For his hands. Um, you can use it, obviously, to cook with, but um, you can also use it as a lotion. It's all natural, it's um, organic, it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say, it's, um, you know, it helps to keep you germ free, what am I trying to say, it's uh, antibacterial type, not, that's not what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say, I think, what am I trying to say, I can't think of it, but it's good for a lot of things, um, so you can also cook with it, obviously. But I got that for Keegan's hands because they're so chapped and raw where he chews on them. And that, and I hate putting lotion on him because I don't want him to suck on the lotion, obviously. So that'll be good for his hands. And if he sucks it off, he sucks it off. So that is it. That is our Aldi's haul. One more thing I got. I got the uh, Mega Meat Pizza and the Pepperoni Pizza. Those are for Super Bowl Party tonight. I missed yet another bag. I also got two loaves of bread. And cookies. How can I forget the cookies? For Super Bowl party tonight and whatever's left we'll take on our trip with us as a snack. My goal is to not eat out a ton um, driving out there. Once we get there we can eat out, but I don't want to stop a million places. I just want to get there. So I'm glad that we have snacks to take. Nate will take some of the juice boxes too. Obviously I can't remember if I said that. So that is it, I believe. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned I got strawberries and grapes too. I think, oh wait, no, these two, I don't think I mentioned. Um, geez, but they had these, um, I'm assuming for the Super Bowl, they were like in a, like a party type aisle. Um, these you just mix with mayonnaise and sour cream, I think. So I thought that would be good, just to kind of have on hand. I don't think we'll need it today because we're not having a very big party. It's just going to be us, I believe. So we'll just have a couple little snacky things throughout the day. And that will be it. And I think that's it. Bananas, I think I mentioned. Celery for our trip. Carrots for our trip. I think I got it all this time. Okay, so I found some of the Valentine's decorations. Um, this is mostly stuff that is new. That hasn't been used before. Um, that I got on clearance. That's a wreath I'm working on to finish. Um, but... Yes, this is mostly just stuff. Um, I have another bin somewhere. Paul's trying to locate it. I cannot wait till we get the thing in the basement done. It'll be so much easier. Just so much easier. Um, on my to-do list at some point, this is an old copper um, boiler. I'm going to go through all these shoes um, and get them sorted out. 
because three-fourths of them aren't even worn all the time, half the time, any time. <laughs> so I'm going to go through those. I want to vacuum the floor. Paul hopefully will put take care of dishes, or I mean, um, groceries are still, the non-perishable type stuff is out. I have some homework that is due by 11.59 tonight. So I have a couple hours to get that done. I'm going to go work on that, get that checked off the list. Hey everybody, still Sunday night, uh, Super Bowl's over, boo, Atlanta lost. Um, I am in the office right now, I did finish the homework that had to be done tonight, that was due, now I'm just trying to do some of the other stuff. One of the courses that I take has just like month due dates, so instead of weekly, they just have like five things that are due at the end of the month, so obviously I'm trying to space those out um, to get those done. Um, Another course that I take is super confusing. I have to try to figure that out. I know there's not due dates um, coming up anytime soon. Um, I have to study for sign language. Um, it's really not, it's not overwhelming really, and I don't know, let me set you up here. I don't really know why it's not, but I guess I shouldn't complain about that. And same with Pa, I told Pa because he was thinking about holding off going to school, but it's really not a lot to go back to school. I mean, I don't know, schools always kind of come fairly easy to me anyway. Um, and I feel like as an adult, Paul's still watching football stuff out there, as an adult it's even easier because you can relate this to real life. I found that when I go back, to, when I'm back in 2010 too. There's a lot of things that are interesting about it because you've lived in the real world and it makes a little bit more sense. But, um, <sighs> Paul did find that other bin of Phil and Hensley stuff, so my goal was to get that up tonight, but I don't know, it's getting late, it's almost 11 o'clock, and I want to get a little bit more done in here, so I'm going to work in here a little bit longer, but I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Bye.